So you could be asked to work out a break-even point or work out a profit or loss at different outputs. You might also be asked to draw a break-even chart. Let's go through this step by step. First of all, I'll show you where each line goes and then I'll go through a chart using some figures. First, give the chart a title. Next, plot output on the horizontal axis here. Then plot revenues, costs or profits on the vertical axis here and label them both. Then draw on the fixed cost line. This will always be a straight horizontal line because the fixed costs don't change. Then draw on the total cost line, which will run from the fixed cost line because total costs include fixed costs and variable costs. Then draw on the total revenue line, which starts from zero in the corner here. Make sure that all the lines are clearly labelled. Where your total costs and total revenue lines cross is your break-even output. To the left of this point, the difference between the total costs and the total revenue line is loss and to the right it's profit because the total revenue is greater than the total costs. Now let's do a break-even chart using some figures. We'll use Chris's surfboard business as an example. Here's Chris with some figures. Now remember, my surfboards sell for £200 each. The variable costs are £80 per board and the fixed costs are £120,000. Let's use these. So, first of all, you give the chart a title. We could call it break-even chart for Chris's surfboards. Next, plot the output on the horizontal axis like this. We'll put output going up to 2000. Then you do the vertical axis for costs, revenues or profits like this, going up to 400,000 pounds. The next thing to go on is the fixed cost line which is always a horizontal line as the fixed costs don't change. In this case, they're £120,000, so go here. Next to go on is the total cost line, which includes variable costs as well as fixed costs. To work out where the line runs to, you need to work out the variable costs at your maximum output. So that will be £80 times 2000 which gives us £160,000. So run the line from the fixed cost line to 280000 because it's £160,000 of variable costs plus £120,000 of fixed costs. Next to go on is the total revenue line. So, if Chris sold 2,000 surfboards at £200 each, his total revenue would be £400,000. See how the total revenue and total cost lines cross here. This is the break-even point. So Chris needs an output of 1,000 surfboards to break even. If you remember, We've used the same figures for this chart as we did when we just worked out the break-even using the contribution formula and the two answers match up. So you can, if you want, work out what answer the chart should show to see if your chart is accurate. This area here is loss and this area here is profit. If Chris's actual output was 1,200 surfboards this area would be his margin of safety. In other words, a margin of safety of 200 units. 